Okay, so um, real quick, there's one thing I want to go with you, over with you first. Okay, so I didn't want to do necessarily your question exact, exactly, so I'm going to do a similar question in my student version of the homework set. And then hopefully you can apply this to what you have with your specific question. But before we get started, in the future, um, I noticed you sent me a, like an actual photograph of the question. Up here in the upper right-hand corner, there's this question help button. And if you click ask my instructor a question right here, that's a great way to, it sends me a link to your specific problem. So in the future, if you don't want to take the picture, it's a little bit easier for me to get to and answer your question if you do use that ask my instructor a question button. But anyway, let's get back to your problem that you had for me. So it says, refer to the accompanying data, the data is right here, right, to screw lengths that construct a frequency distribution. Begin with a lower class limit of 1.470. You see they do that for us right here and use a class width of 1.010. All right, so I noticed that it seemed like the issue that we were having right here was with this last class width right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help you build these class widths and I think you're gonna be able to figure out the frequency. So to get the numbers on the left, we're just gonna add 1.010. We're gonna add this class width. Whoops, we're gonna stay on this page. We're gonna add this class width each way up. So um, I have my calculator out here. I actually think I can do this without um, so 1.470, if we add that decimal up here, um, it's going to get us to 1.480, and then 1.490, and then 1. Point, oops, 1. Oops, sorry. 1.450. Uh, sorry. After 49 would be 500, right? And then 1.5. One zero, right? So hopefully you're able to get that. We're going to add that down. Now to get these numbers over here, we're going to actually, to get this top number, we just need to think about if this is from 1.470 and this one starts at 1.480, let's count back one. It's one one thousandth, but if we drop one decimal, if we subtracted 0 0.001 from here, it would be 1.4 seven nine right so again do you see that uh this is the next one in the number because we got to keep this going we can't have a space between where this one ends and that one begins now we can just do the same thing that we did on this left hand column once we get the first number right here we're just going to add um 0 0.010 and that's going to get us our other numbers so 0 0.4 1.4 8 9 oops 1.499, and then I actually might use my calculator for this. So 1.49, oops. I'd hate to make a video and get something wrong, so I'm just going to double check. My width is 1, 0. So that next one is 1.509, right? Again, I just like to double check that. 519. And then we're going to go in here and fill up these frequencies. So I'm going to move this off to the side. We're going to count. I, I like to do this on a piece of paper. So I'm going to actually write these down and I'm going to tick them out all throughout. Um, you can do it however you want, but you're going to go in and you're going to put those frequencies in. I'm going to actually hit pause. I'm not going to do this while I'm recording. So um, you're going to go through here and find out where each one of these go. All right, so I went ahead and counted these up, and I was able to find, I think there's three here, there's five here, there's nine here, there's 11 that fell into this category, and then there are two that fall into this category. And I'm going to click check answer, and we got it. Um, so again, I think your question was more related to these class limits, but I just figured to cover the whole question. Again, in the future, you can click this Ask My Instructor a Question, and it's kind of easier for me to get to your problem specifically. Hope this helps, and let me know if you have anything else you need from me.